<laughs> I don't know what to say. How can they make a product like this so cheap? These are an absolute no-brainer. This is the no-brainer bit. Hello, welcome Swally Carb. My name is Rob and have you ever been walking through MBK and seen the knockoff AirPods and thought to yourself, how bad can they really be? Well, it's all coming up in today's video. So I've actually had these for three weeks now um, and I've been able to test them. I've been using them every single day and I've got some thoughts. Uh, I've got some pros, some cons, and just things that like, you guys should be aware of. Uh, I thought they needed like more of just the first impressions, but an actual test like day to day, going in and around the city, you know, on and off transport, like connection things. I'm gonna cover all of this a little bit later, but I did do an unboxing on the day. So let's roll into that before we get into sort of like my final thoughts and feedback for you guys to whether you should buy these or not. All right, so I'm here at Lumpini Park and I'm here to, well, essentially unbox these. These guys in my nice ducky bag. I've got a nice top-down view for you guys as well so you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. And well, basically, let me show you. These are essentially, uh, well, they're kind of AirPods, but without all the branding. Now they did have the branded options where they had like AirPods Pro on the side here and the Apple logo and all of that, but I don't have these on these particular models. And I think for the most part, it's because of the price. This one here is 390 Thai baht, and then this one was 550. I asked how much the branded ones were and they said 800. I asked a friend how much he paid for his uh, knockoff AirPods and he paid 1,200, which I thought would be a good price for something like this especially if it's the same size as well actually original airpods now are these clusters counterfeit when they don't have any apple logo or any apple wording on them whatsoever but like we know what they are and know what they look like right we know exactly what these are um but are they technically counterfeit I don't know you tell me in the comments below but i've not unboxed these at all you can just see the cellophane on there i've uh just like kind of ripped it a bit, but I've not opened it. The whole thing is brand new and I've never unboxed anything like this. And I'm wondering if there's any difference between these ones and these ones. I'm gonna unbox the cheapest one first and then we'll see if there's any improvement for your money. How bad, it's not It's not how good they can be, it's how bad can they be, you know? So we're gonna rate it on that kind of scale. All right, let's get these unboxed because um, I'm kind of excited and I just wanna to get to use them actually. Okay, so we'll start, like I said, brand new cellophane. You probably can't even see this on the video, look. Brand new. On the back it says wireless charging case, in-ear detection, uh, quick links, noise, active noise reduction, which doesn't say active noise cancellation, actually. Uh, HD sound quality. Why am I excited for like the cheapest things that you can buy? Okay, right, so you've got a little documentation, little manual here, let's put that in there. The very Apple-esque. See the manual here. It's kind of got like a picture of an iPad and iPhone. It says plus iOS. It's a bunch of information. We don't need to read all of that. Wow, this is so small. This is this is why I wanted to get them because this is the no-brainer bit. Look at the size of that. That is, in comparison to my hand, that is so small. That is ridiculous. Unreal. This was loose. That's not loose at all. This feels great. Even like close up with me staring at them, I cannot... These are not stickers. I don't know what this is. Are these real grills? Man, these these look good. And the case, the case is unbelievable. This is why people buy AirPods. It's for this case, because you can put this in your pocket and it's just not gonna be annoying. All right, so let's see how they fit in the ears. Oh, they make a noise straight away. I can't hear the fountain anymore. So it's obviously got like really good um, kind of noise reduction. I don't think it's got noise cancellation. Not 390 tire bar, it doesn't. The phone is unlocked and we got the the AirPods here, we'll open up the AirPods. Straight away, not your AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro do not tap connect. And there you go, look, connecting. Spatial audio. See, it says F300 here, so 87% battery. Okay, let's, uh, let's try them out. Track laid up, this track is gonna be amazing for listening to these, heavy bass track. First time listening to them, right, let's go. Pausing these just two seconds. These are unreal. I'm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. They're so they're really good. <laughs> so, I thought they'd be crap. I thought they would be tinny. The music would just be terrible. It is. It's super heavy bass though. It really is heavy bass. Um, which is not something I would complain about normally. I wonder if I'm 
get the EQ down a bit on the bass. These are really good. Uh, you can't uh, adjust the volume on them, but you can uh, skip, pause, uh, fast forward, and all that sort of jazz. But first impressions of the cheap, cheap ones is unbelievable. Here we go. These are the these are the 550 tie bar. Now I I wonder if these are exactly the same as the cheap ones. Okay, so slightly different manual, slightly different wrap here on the uh, the more expensive ones. But they feel these ca these cases look amazing. Absolutely amazing. You can see here on the bottom. They've got like little speaker grills here and probably a microphone maybe. So that is the difference between the two of them side by side. Other than that side, size wise, they're pretty much identical. Yes, there you go. Right, connect. Okay, so these ones have slightly different fit. They feel slightly bigger in the ear. Let's, uh, let's press play on this. Same track I'm listening to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to, to start with this. They're both great. They're both really, really great, actually. Um, they just both work. They both sound really good. They're really bassy. They connect straight away um, like with the detection modes and everything else. The only differences really are you've got a lanyard hole on here. It's got a little speaker grill and a more expensive one. So you're getting a slightly nicer case for the five, 550. But audio-wise, they both, both sound really good. Um, the cheaper ones have got slightly more bass, uh, which needs to be turned down, but it's kind of got slightly more volume as well. So if you can adjust the EQ to, to lower the bass, then actually the cheaper ones are probably um, the better bang for the buck. All right, so like I said, it is uh, three weeks later. I've still got them. And uh, for the ease of this video, I'm gonna to refer to them as like the 390s and the 550s, because that, that's the price of the earphones. I'm going to start off with the pros because for the most part, they're great. They really are. My first impressions, well, they sounded great. Like I was just blown away by how good they sounded. Now, that being said, the 390s out the box are a bit heavy on the bass. But if you go into, I'm using Spotify myself. If you go into the settings, you can change the equalizer and do bass reduction. And it brings it down to like a manageable, manageable level. The 550s straight out the box for me are perfect. Uh, it seems to have a bit more clarity across the board. Overall, for pure audio quality, uh, the 550s are definitely the winners. Is it worth paying the extra? Yes, absolutely. I really think that the 550s are absolutely amazing to the point that if somebody told me to try their Apple AirPod Pros and I put them in and listened to some of my music on it, I might not have known. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy to say, but I, I might have been fooled. Honestly, the audio quality out of these is so, so good. So yeah, 550s, bass is not too obnoxious. Straight out of the box, works great. Can't complain. What is it, 16 US dollars? Something like that. It's just, it's ridiculous. All right, let's talk about the cons. Uh, like I said, the, the, the 390s are a bit heavy on the bass out of the box, can be fixed. So it's not too much of a con really if you can just, you know, five seconds in the equalizer and fix that. Uh, the main con is the connect, connect connectivity. It drops out every now and then. Um, and I've noticed it most when I was at Central World. They seem to have like antennas or aerials around that area. And when you're walking through, it cuts out, cuts in, cuts out, cuts in. Um, and it can be a little bit frustrating. But at this price point, you really can't complain. I've had hours and hours on end traveling around the city on the BTS, the MRT, um, going through like busy built up areas, and had no problem whatsoever you know there was a couple of other situations where it dropped out where it did become a little bit of a nuisance but when you're paying this kind of money can you really complain about connectivity issues like that the charge has been absolutely amazing i thought that this was definitely going to be one of the cons now i've equally uh, tested both of these um, and for the most part i'm just going to be sticking to the 550s if i break these i'll go and buy another pair tomorrow it's so there you have it 16 dollars for fake airpods uh it would be rude not to buy them when they're that cheap um i hope you found this uh, video helpful i hope it helps your purchasing decision let me know if you buy a pair and uh, if you have any questions leave down below and i'll help you guys out uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace